Hi everyone and welcome back to Sakuri Security's WordPress security tutorial videos. Today we're going to be looking at WPScan, a black box online vulnerability scanner for WordPress that you can download for free for Mac and for Linux. I'll be using Linux today in a little VM here, but you can use whatever you like. We'll start with Mac. First thing you're going to want to do is clone from the GitHub repository. So git clone and then we've got the URL here for the WPScan team URL. That'll go ahead and install a folder in your root file on Mac. And then from there you can type cd to change directory into the wp-scan folder. Once you're in here all we really need to do now is install a little bundler that'll go with this Ruby application. So you want to sudo gem install bundler and you can actually copy this whole command from our blog post or from the description on this video. Put in your password and it'll just take a few minutes to install. For most of this video, I have sped up a lot of the parts where it's compiling so that it's not a 10 minute long video. Now all these little pieces that it's installing will eventually let you be able to run plugin vulnerability scans, core file and theme vulnerability scans, look for weak passwords and usernames and that kind of thing. So now that it's finished, um, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do this in Linux as well. I'm just using Ubuntu, but if you're using any other distro, there are instructions on the WP Scan website. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have GitHub installed. So sudo apt get install git. And then after you have GitHub installed on your machine, you just want to go ahead and add all of these dependencies first. This is really the only thing that's different between the Mac and the Linux version. After this point, once the dependencies are all installed, you can actually go ahead and just complete the rest of the steps like you do with Mac. So git clone, we're downloading the folder, it just takes a few minutes. And then once it is installed on your computer, you're basically just gonna go ahead and CD into the folder and then install that same bundler. Once the bundler is downloaded and installed, you'll see again there's lots of little packages in there that it'll be using. Uh, once it's finished, you'll get a notification that the gem packages are complete, and that means that you're ready to start uh, running some WP scan commands, so make sure you stay tuned for next time, and I'll show you all about how to do that. Thanks so much for watching.